Hello MTV and welcome to my crib. This is the 20,000 subscriber entire collection tour. This is going to be everything, not just my studio, but my other room. Uh, and I have, a, I have like a couple shelves in the hallway too. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the full collection tour. I'm filming it on my phone because it's easier, it's more versatile. And I don't have to worry so much about, you know, the flashlight and everything because the phone has the flashlight built in. Because without the light, some of these figures and shelves are really in darkness. Like, you can hardly see ROTF Optimus there without, especially these lower shelves. Like, without having a light on it, it's, it's one of those things where I wish I had better light sources. But then again, this stuff... This isn't going to be my be-all, end-all, how I'll have everything for the rest of my life. No, I want I have big plans where I want to display my stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is the studio. We are going to start in here. This is going to be a very detailed video. Uh, I'm going to go over pretty much anything I can go over. I will acknowledge a lot of stuff. And the first thing I want to acknowledge is the door. So, <laughs> this door used to have flaps on it. And uh, now it says fabric, because uh, the flaps broke off. Um, may or may not have been my fault, partially. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, here's the Bionicle Mask Collection. I did a video on this a long while back, and apparently this is quite the valuable thing. Uh, I got I got most of them just with the set, but I love that collection. Then there is a 10-year anniversary LEGO Star Wars minifig poster. Now we're past 20 years, so that's kind of crazy. And then to the right here, we have my Big Cody and Big 212th. God, I love those. And then... As you walk in, the first things you're kind of greeted with, Transformers Masterpiece, and then Cybertron, some other big figs. This is my desk, and I'll talk about the things on it and why they're on it. Um, and then the Gundam Collection, the vast majority of the Transformers. I'll try not to put my pale arm in the way because it just messes with the lighting. And then the clones. Uh, and this is my camera and my two lights that I use. So the back of the door, you can see, is a door. Uh, last night poster, they begged me to take at the theater. Force Awakens little canvas thing that a friend of mine gave me. Mandalorian dartboard, which uh, I really... I think it's a magnetic... Is it a magnetic dartboard? Or like a real dartboard, I don't know. But I have not... Um, I've chosen not to use it yet. And then just some carded stuff. Um, but I will talk in detail about a lot of things. So this stuff... And this stuff is stuff that doesn't have space, that I just got... Or, um, you know, I'm still kind of messing with. Or I want to review. In the case of the Fortnite thing, I want to review this whole Fortnite set. Because uh, it's really cool. It's a modular thing. This is how I built it. And I want to review it before I dismantle it and put it in storage. Because I just don't have the space for it right now. So, uh, there's that. There's a TBC clone gun for the new clone I need to review. I did put a lot of stuff on the shelves so you get a better look at the shelves. There's the KO Nemesis Prime I posted on Instagram. There's a Seacon so far. Exciting. Can't wait for the other two. Just built the SD Char, and I'm just having fun with them. There's my Perfect Grade Wing Zero Custom. I have no idea what to do with. And I just got it today. I'm filming this on Easter. Uh, but there is the Hot Toys Char Asnable. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't, I would never have guessed my second Hot Toys would be Char Asnable, but <laughs> there we are. When I was going through the footage, for some reason, I totally forgot to talk about my Pacific Rim Jaegers. I have no idea why. I just completely skipped over them. This is after I filmed everything else. Uh, so, yeah, I have pretty much all the unique Jaegers they made. Uh, these are the NECA ones from the first movie. So you can see uh, the ones that kind of barely appeared in the movie. And then the main team. Main team right there. And then there is Gypsy Danger, and then Bleeding On to Pacific Rim Uprising, a movie that I actually like more than the first one. I don't know why a lot of people don't like the second one. I like the characters more. I kind of liked the robots a little more. I really do love the robots from the first movie, though. I mean, if I didn't, I wouldn't have bought all of them. But yeah, there's uh, the these are the uh, robot Damashi robot spirits. In the front here of the good guys... And then in the back, the uh, Diamond Select versions of the drone, November Ajax, and him! So yes, there we go. November Ajax is probably my favorite from the second movie, and Crimson Typhoon is probably my favorite from the first movie. So yeah, uh, I neglected to talk about them, uh, but I am not neglecting it anymore. I did it. I don't think I missed anything else. So yep, uh, back to the stuff I already recorded. 
Uh, and then on the rest of my desk, uh, here's some TVC cards for figures I need to review or I just need to obviously put away. Uh, these are <laughs> kind of for thrift store toy trash. It's a complete set of uh, letters that are Transformers. I might just do a review on those. And then just some things back there that are a little too big to put on another shelf, like an Optimus Sippy and a Bumblebee alarm clock. Down here, here's some Transformers. Uh, the Galvatron Focus. Hot Rod, or Hot Rod, if you uh, subscribe to the last night pronunciation. Prowl, and then Hound. And there is my my garbage can with some Reese's peanut butter eggs. Oh, crap. Yep, yeah, there's that. And then there's my vent down there, some speakers, a CD player that I, I honestly don't know why I have that. And then down here is Armada and R.I.D. I don't have a lot, but, you know, I have some. And then there is Energon. I have more Energon because I prefer Energon. Um, but I don't prefer Energon over Cybertron, as you'll see. Yeah, I have a little Energon collection. And then here I have... Very kind of gross, I need to clean it. Um, like, uh, you know what they're called. Uh, <laughs> and I also have one that a friend made me. Uh, he used, like, resin and dyes, and it's so cool. Uh, and then here's a lava lamp that I use as a source of light in here. Uh, there's a... That's a paperweight. Then lamp. And here's the closet door. You can see, I'm not going to go into the closet stuff. That's going to be a plastic purgatory. Going through all the stuff in storage. But you can see right there. It's my poster and all that. And then I've already d done a whole detailed video of the Commander Cody Shrine stuff. So I'm just going to show you. It's my carded black series, which is now <laughs> worth probably about 10 times more than I paid for it. Then here's my Cody Shrine with my sideshow. Hot Toys was going to come out by now, but it was delayed, so that's a shame. And then, more Cody Shrine stuff. Then over here, more carded clone things. And there's the new re-release clone. And then Cody, and then Cody, and then Cody, then Cody, then Cody. And then up here above the door, we have my... 6 inch and 12 inch clone stuff as well as like some clone transformers and other random things. Uh, the 12 inch uh, lieutenant and sergeant are custom. But I really love how that's looking. I love the unleashed stuff. I need the other two still, the phase ones. But I have the uh, shock trooper and the arc gunner. But yeah, that's really sweet. I love the black series clones. I don't collect Black Series much anymore. There's a figure art too, I love that. But I do love the uh, the clones they do for Black Series. Then going down, there's my Daniel Piscina signed toy show poster. He's gonna be the next toy show, that's exciting. Maybe I'll get him to sign the uh, original kind of G.I. Joe Mortal Kombat figure. There's that right there. And then here is my Gundam Battle Scarred carded uh, RX-78 II. And here's my very yellow bubble, but still carded. Uh, what's it like, Camo Zaku? I love that. Then there's a, I don't have it loose, but the Force Battlers clone. And then I'm gonna go around the other way. Uh, we'll talk about the clones after I talk about everything else in the room. But let's just go the other way to uh, this shelf. This is the kind of War Fall of Cybertron stuff. I love it. Pretty much have all the characters that appeared in the games that they made. Then that kind of bleeds over into some random things. And Power Core Combiners. Then Cyberverse, which I haven't finished Season 3. I'm actually just waiting. I'm kind of watching it at the pace that YouTube is uploading the videos. But <laughs> Cyberverse has no right to be as good as it is. It's a really great, it's a really great cartoon. Then going down, we have some little tiny Transformer boys. Legends Legion class guys. It's like, it looks like there's like one fell or something. I don't know. And then there's my only bot bot. I'm not into bot bots, but I have Burgertron. Then there's some R.I.D. Spy Changers, Robot Heroes, some little 30th minifigures, some Creons, some bot shots. Who misses bot shots, man? 
Then there's some more robot heroes right there. Dude, I miss bot shots. I want bot shots to come back. Hashtag bot shots, please come back. And if you're noticing like, oh, where's Thundercracker? Thundercracker's up there, you know. I, I kept some with a character focus. And then there's Unicron. Why, did, why would you need to back Unicron on HasLab if you have the Robot Heroes one? I don't get it. And then a little clone break here. I did this in another, <laughs> in another video, another tour. I said clone break. But here's a clone break. There's an Optimus break. And then a little card of Bumblebee. Okay, clone break. There's uh, like a candy dispenser, another candy dispenser that's Pez. A like bath toy phase two. Uh, McDonald's Rex, uh, very yellowed tactics, ATRT, Lego ATRT, and then some little unleashed figures that I absolutely adore, some chess pieces, a pen back there, the Converge, very yellowed stuff right there. I actually de yellowed that and it went white, but then you know how it goes, it went yellow again. And then my tactics. Some of them are missing stickers, they're all yellow. I tried de yellowing them, uh, but as you can see, it didn't last. And then down here, here's like some custom Lego clones that people have sent me. Really love those. There's Jesse Kicks and Hard Case. And a yellow one. Then like a Battlefront 2 Phase 1 Jump Trooper. Galactic Marine. My Clone Army Customs clone. And then the Phase 2 Classic guys, my favorites. With some exceptions, because Neo, I really wanted him with his trooper. Then down here, here's like my Phase 1 Clone Wars. I don't have them all. But I have a lot. And then I, they, they're not clones, but I just felt like putting the Senate Commandos there. Then here's some Phase 2 newer figures. Clone Wars and Realistic. Then here's Galactic Heroes and Fighter Pods. There's all the Commanders. There's like the Specialty Troopers. There's all the same Phase 1 and Phase 2 molds, all the decos they did. And then there's like some more Specialty Troopers and Commanders down there. Alrighty, so there's that. And going down, Bobby sent me a couple card of Transformers, so I have Wazabinator and Chromia. And then, look at this! Uh, Force Awakens hype, I was guilty as charged. And I got the 231 inch Kylo and Stormtrooper. Kylo I bought on Force Friday. I was that hyped, I just bought a giant Kylo Ren. And then the Stormtrooper I actually got for like under 20 bucks a little later on. And then I got that Shore Trooper real cheap at the toy department. And then the two Disney talking Kylo and Imperial Stormtrooper. So, a little bit of a Star Wars break there, but back to Transformers. Boop, boop, boop. I'll try not to be super annoying. <laughs> I just love this stuff so much, I tend to be a little annoying when I'm talking about it. Here is, he's so metallic -y, he doesn't look too great under like a flash. But, oh my gosh. That's like the Honey Badger knockoff Megatron. I love that so much. All four of these, the movie ones, are knockoffs. But they're better than the official counterpart. Legendary Toys Bumblebee. Little, uh, uh, same with Wiki. That's a repaint of, uh, she's, what's his name? Mbamba Jones' son. Mutt, Mutt Williams. Repaint of Mutt Williams. That I did. Then Legendary Toys Optimus, which I can say, I can say this, as of right now, is my favorite figure in my collection. Right now, not counting like nostalgia, not counting uh, sentimental value, just counting quality, awesomeness. This is my absolute favorite. And then we have the uh, Black Mamba Brawl, which I don't know how well you can see it. I just found out he has light up eyes. I seriously didn't know that. <laughs> so that's awesome. Then my G1 uh, masterpieces. Uh, Prowl is a knockoff, which is not very good quality. I just got it real cheap. And then the Megatron is a knockoff. That's why he's very nice quality, but the knockoff plastic uh, decided to yellow within months after I bought it. So that's great. Uh, but then there's the big old Siege Jetfire. I just felt like he fit in here better. Alrighty, so there's the Masterpieces. And then down, like I said, I love Transformer Cybertron. So uh, yeah, I had to... Look at all the dust, man. Jeez, jeez, dust. You never notice how much dust exists until you shine a light, and then you're like, oh yeah, dust is a thing, isn't it? Anyways, let's talk about the Cybertron stuff. Over here is like the guys that are Cybertron toys, but they're not really show characters. And then we move on to show characters. The Cybertronians, the Jungle Planet guys, 
the Velocitronians, Velocitronians, I don't know. I have a lot of them. Uh, I'm missing Dark Crumple Zone, Scourge. He is like my number one Transformer want right now. I don't have Scourge or Scourge, however you want to say it. That kills me. I don't have um, Jolt. I have one of them. I have, it's either Reverb or Six Speed. I don't remember, but I'm not, I don't have Jolt or Reverb and or Six Speed. I can't remember which is which. But here's the, uh, the main kind of Autobot cast. And then some of the main Decepticon cast. I love that star scream. It's not the show accurate deco, but I love that deco. Then Galvatron, sound wave. <laughs> what up, all you bots out there on the floor? Get ready to rock it. Such an iconic sound wave quote. Then going down, we have like some of the bigger boys. Cybertron Defense. I do not have Scatter Shot, but I have Red Alert and I have Hot Shot and I have the new one right down there. I have Star Scream. That's the uh, reissue one in G1 colors. A 100% complete Primus from my childhood. I love it. And yeah, I know those keys aren't gold, they're silver, whatever. I don't have all the gold ones. Then there's Megatron. Quick Mix. God, I love that Menasaur. Very crappy little Jetfire McDonald's toy. And lastly, Metroplex and the uh, Unicron right there. Cause hey, you know, gotta have Unicron somehow. I really do love that little deluxe Unicron though, it's so goofy. Anyways, a little bit of a break from Transformers. Let's move on to Gundam because I have a lot of awesome Gundam stuff and hopefully the dust will stop flying once I get a little closer on the shelves. But anyways, first up, let's talk about the Gundams. The Gundams themselves. Uh, so here we have the Stardust Memory guys, Thunderbolt guys, some variations of the RX. Then there's kind of the main three right there from the first three series. And there's the Mark II, then the 08 MS team, and the little tank right there. And kind of some random guys back there, kind of F91 era, and then uh, Origin. And then Atlas Gundam. Then the two new Gundams. And there's the two Unicorns. I do have the HGUC Destroy Mode Phoenix Gold Coating. Uh, he's gonna go kinda right there. But I haven't built it yet, so it will not count in this video, I'm afraid. And then there's the Full Armor Unicorn. And there is the Psycho Gundam. Then down there, here is the Gun Tanks. The Gun Cannons. Kind of the later era Federation suits. And then the GMs. I love me some GMs. I have the Interceptor coming in. But I love GMs. And then right there, we have kind of like, yeah, this is sort of like the AUG Titans suits, except for a uh, silver bullet suppressor back there. But yeah, those don't really fit in with anything else. And then down here, we have uh, Raise Your Flag! Ba -do -do -ba. I I'm sorry, I try not to be super annoying, but I love this stuff, and things pop into my head when I see it, so, yeah. There's Gundam Bale back there. He's cool. I like him. And then Gundam Wing. It's kind of a mess. The non-UC stuff, there's a lot of wings and random things that stick off of them. It's kind of a messy shelf. And then I don't have a lot of space either. This shelf was only like a few figures when it started, and then it just blew up. Then there's G Gundam, uh, Dark Army, and then Master and Funsaki. Then there, right there's the Jagan that I was sent in the P.O. box, and back there's a Zaku Warrior you can hardly see, but he's back there, rest assured, there he is. Strike, and then some Build Fighters stuff. That freaking Dom, man, I love it. Then down here is the 1 100 stuff, as well as some little uh, kind of Gashapon SD guys I got at the freaking Antique Mall. Re 100 GP04, heavy arms, old, old HG1100 wing, master grade wing Gundam that can't hold his Buster rifles to save his life. Then the good old two, the classic rivalry right there. The that's actually just the Dom, but I prefer the colors on that than the Rick Dom. And there's the Gear Doga, and then uh, it's I like it. I like the MG High Nuver Ka. It's just I don't know, man. One of my, my most expensive Gunpla kit, and it's one of my least favorites. It's actually hilarious. Going down, this is the SD stuff. Well, actually, first here, let's show off the little Gashapon guys. Oh, come on, get in focus. There we go, little Gashapon guys. I don't know who all of them are, even. But there's a Denon Zon back there. Shiny Zaku and Dom. 
It's cool stuff. Then here, here's like the model kits. That's a custom painted uh, EX standard wing. It kind of sucks. Then there's like some of the frames. Then here's like the SD Gundam Force figures. Wish I had more space for them, but what can you do? Kind of got to squish them. Yeah, there we go. And then going over, I'm so happy I have a swivel chair. <laughs> we have uh, kind of random UC stuff. Some Converge, uh, some MSIA, some knockoff stuff. I love my little MSIA collection. I don't have a lot, but I have my only Gundam Universe figure so far, the RX. It's, it's pretty good. It's not great, but it's good. And then here's kind of MSIA and random stuff for non-UC. So we have Gundam Wing and then some Seed stuff in the back. And then G Gundam. I actually collect the MSIA G Gundam stuff. I don't want it all. As you can see, I don't have it all. But I at least have the Shuffle Alliance and HAL Gundam, Master Gundam, Noble, Zebra, you know, Royal, all the ones you really need. Shadow. Or Gundam Spiegel, if you want to call it by the Japanese name. And then a shiny, shining Gundam that uh, my cousin gave me, and he's kind of burnt up because my cousin was a bit of a Sid Phillips. Anyways, continuing on. This is Neo Zeon. So we have, you know, the Gira Zulus, Dovin Wolf, Arjarja. There's my Kshatriya, nice and proud in the middle. Cubelay. Then here's all the Shards Counterattack guys. Giridogas, Sananju and Sazabi, love them. And then up here, here's the non uh, Zaku Zeon stuff. So we have all the aquatic suits from the original show, Camphor, Africhnide, Yan, Doms. I don't have all of them. I don't have any Rick Dom two yet because they haven't re-released that kit in so long, and I really want both versions. Especially the colony colors. And there's the goofs and the gelgoogs. God, I love the gelgoogs. Still need the normal marine gelgoog. But I'm getting there. I don't have it all yet. Uh, I at least need some things to keep building, right? And then my pride and joy shelf. My Zaku shelf. There's my Zaku 1s. That kind of bleeds into my black tri-stars. Then here's my Zaku 2 army. Every kit, every figure is a unique, different figure and kit. I don't have the same thing twice, except I, I do have Gelgoog and Gelgoog Cannon. I do have that, but everything else, it's one and done. There's probably one of my favorite, HGs. Then there's the Thunderbolt guys. I still need Mustamashi Maz, Zaku 3, but I'm, I'm getting there. And there's Johnny Ridden Zaku that I got sent in the P.O. Box. And there's kind of some, you know, officer ones. Anyways, there's the Gundam stuff. Um, it's a lot, but two bookcases. Oh my gosh, two bookcases. I remember when it just took up two of those shelves. But then again, Gundam's kind of been my main focus lately. Optimus Primes. Let's talk about the Megatrons first and the Thundercrackers. Uh, so here's my little Thundercracker focus. I have the Flame Toys kit. I have the original movie Voyager. You can tell it's really squished because I needed to make space for literally having every movie Megatron mold ever. All the Voyager and Leader versions, there we go. There's a, there's a lot, and I have them all. And then all the little Megatrons. I never expected to have a Megatron focus. It just kind of happened, man. It just kind of happened. I love that Stealth Bomber Megs, too. I love that one. Then I painted the Titans Return one's face white because it just looked weird if it wasn't white. Optimus Primes then. Ooh, I have a lot of Optimus Primes. These are the movie primes. All these are movie prime. All of them. Every single one is movie prime. Uh, like Megatron, I have every unique Optimus Prime mold from the movies. Um, so there's that. Uh, and then there's even some back there you can't really see because I have so many. I have over 100 unique Optimus Prime toys. It's nuts. I don't know how this happened. Uh, thrift store is one thing to blame majorly. I've got a lot of these at the thrift store really cheap. But yeah, there's uh, like the Weaponizer Prime back there. He was thrift store. Um, I got him at the thrift store. 
A lot of the little ones in front I got at the thrift store are just really cheap. Like all the McDonald's ones, you know where I got those. Thrift store, baby. And then even these ones, I got the um, RoboVision. Or First Strike, I don't remember which one it is. The G1 Deco, I got him at the thrift store, complete. And then there's a Fire Burst, Dark of the Moon Optimus, I got at the thrift store. Um, <laughs> there's uh, that big Optimus back there, the Dark of the Moon one. And then Bumblebees. Just show the Bumblebees off. Same kind of deal. If you see a big Bumblebee, you pretty much know where it came from. Except the uh, Dark of the Moon leader. I got that a Tuesday morning though for like 20, 25 bucks, so it's not too bad. A lot of the unique deluxes. I did a whole video on the bumblebees, so you know what I'm talking about. But I love bumblebee. And then here is the rest of the Optimuses. Optimi. I have the model kit. Classics. Prime. Weaponizer. I love the leader ones in the back. Some Cyberverse ones. It's great stuff, man. I love myself some Optimi Pry. And then... Over here, I just gotta show this off in its, in its entirety. Here's the classic shelf, soon to be completely ruined by uh, by number one, Scorponok. That's gonna go over there. Number two, uh, <laughs> Piranacon, uh, and or King Poseidon, however you wanna call him, uh, when he's complete. So yeah, this is gonna be ruined. Let's try to blast through this, because I've shown this off so many times. Here's some uh, Decepticons and non-conforming faction members, kind of. That's kind of like some offshoot Decepticons. There's the Galvatron gang with Big Cannon. as my Galvatron currently. Armada Unicron, because I have... I, I can't... I will not get the HasLab one. It's not... It's not big enough to be worth it, and it's way too expensive. Here's the 86 movie gang. And then kind of some same sort of thing. Some not G1 exactly, but G1-y kind of guys. And then kind of like the pre-Optimus Prime. There's Dion, Alpha Trion, and Orion. Then, like I said, I've shown this off so many times. I'm not going to go too in-depth with the classic stuff. There's kind of the main heroes and Devastator. Or villains. There's the Seekers, the Acid, Acid Storm guys. Bruticus. Reflector, Abominus. There's a red reflector kind of tucked back there. Trypticon. Then there's a Target Masters. And then a little random barricade. Manasaur, Predaking. And Headmasters and Overlord. And over here, Autobot Heroes. I'm so happy the Earthrise Cliff Jumper scales with the other minibots. I'm so happy about that. Yeah, kind of main hero stuff going on. Kind of the original ARC crew is what I prioritized for the front row. And it just kind of bleeds into some more mini-bots. And Blaster and his dudes. And there's Metroplex. Wait, no. That's that's 4-Max. Ah! Uh, I'm sorry. Fake fan, fake fan. Uh, Omega Supreme. And then there's the Voyager Skylinks there. I don't know if I'm going to get the Commander one, man. That's a shelf hog. And I like that Voyager one. And there's Metroplex. And he's actually got a couple guys standing on his knees because I'm, I'm that low on space. I have been using this shelf for my classics ever since I started collecting. I have, I've expanded it to the upper shelf as well. But this is my pride and joy collection right here. This is like my main focus. I try to get as many kind of variants and variations as I can or want. Anyways, movie time. Everyone's favorite collection. We have movie Decepticons which are cool a lot of studio series here a lot of studio series Decepticons I don't have all the Constructicons they've released just yet I've not picked up Mixmaster or Scavenger at the moment uh, but I will eventually there's the drones that I uh, will make or have made or have released a video of there's a movie one premium Megs I don't know why I want him there I just want him there and there's Thundercracker back there I love that one then there's Bludgeon back there too, he's kind of covered up. So there's that, then here's the Autobots. Which are really sweet. Here's kind of like the non-movie appearing Autobots. I don't know what I'm going to do with that Cliff Jumper once the actual Studio Series one comes out. But there's like some bigger boys, Jetfire. Then there's Optimus with the Jetfire upgrade from Revenge of the Fallen. 
And there's the little nest guy that came with Shockwave just dangling down. And the Dinobots, then kind of like the Last Night, Age of Extinction era guys. I love that Roadbuster a lot. Because my cousin collected NASCAR stuff, so I kind of like having a little bit of NASCAR in my in my collect in collecting life. You'll see a few more NASCARs like further down <laughs> on this video. Then here's kind of like the retired shelf, kind of like the random dudes that don't really have anywhere else to go, but I like the toys enough to keep them. So like the old Voyager Grimlock, Deluxe Scorn, some newer ones that I, I just didn't feel like the Studio Series Jazz and Ironhide fit with my Autobots. There's the different versions of Studio Series Shatter and Dropkick. There's Earthrise Starscream that is there until they release all the rest of the Seekers in Earthrise. And then I will phase, I will do a swap. And then there's Chrome Dome right there. I love these retired classics. I like the figures too much to let them go, man. They're cool. And then here is, <laughs> I affectionately call, um, except for the crossovers. I call this shelf the 90s Transformers shelf because it has Beast Wars, Beast Machines, Beast Machines is from 2000, shut up. Uh, Beast Wars, Machines, and G2. So there's some crossovers over there. Star Wars, Marvel crossovers. And G2, which I love. I have the uh, Bruticus set. Then I have an actual G2 Megatron, which I gotta do it. Hell yeah. And then over here, I forgot to show. There's my leader, Starscream, and his son. Don't speak to me or my son ever again. Alrighty. Um, <laughs> then here's Beast Wars cast. Uh, I wish I had a different Cheetor. I wish I had Tigatron, but whatever. And there's kind of the evolution of uh, Optimus Primal there. Oh, you put the Transmetal one in the wrong order. I don't care, man. That's how they fit size-wise. Death Charge, probably my favorite. Tarantulas, that I bought from Chris Chan. A uh, little fun fact. I own Chris Chan's uh, Beast Wars Transmetals. Tarantulas. Uh, <laughs> I actually did make an unboxing video on that, but I never uploaded it. Because I didn't want to, for obvious reasons. Uh, and then there's that Death Charge and some smaller basics. You just ask Bantor. Alrighty. And then here... Uh, thrift store and childhood stuff. Let's just get on with this. Thrift store lockdowns. Uh, here's some go, go, go bots. Will Mirage actually say it? No, his batteries aren't working. That's actually go bots Mirage. Um, and then right there. A lot of those are from my childhood, but some of them I have acquired later. But then all the rescue bots, all child, all uh, thrift store. All the rescue bots are thrift store. They came in bags with proper Transformers. The bag was like a dollar or two for like four rescue bots. I thought, why not? And hey, maybe someday they will be played with a child, played with by a child yet again. Ultimate Bumblebee, which he is a sweet. Clone break, clone break. 500 first, clone break. Then as we transition, here's my G1s. You need more G1s. Uh, I like G1s, I do. A lot of Marie issues, but some are authentic. I love how Brawl's cannon is perfectly blocking Red Alert's face. There's Red Alert. And then there's my Chris, my Critis de la Convoy. And it just kind of goes up from there. Then I have some boxes and boxed stuff. There's G1 Galvatron and there's a knockoff of Devi back there. Over there, there's some Combiner guys, some Micro Masters. I'm loving it, man. I love G1. Uh, I really wanted G1 Breakdown, and that's pretty much it, because I pretty much have all my other favorite characters in G1s, you know, besides Breakdown. Like my five favorite Decepticons, Galvatron, Soundwave, Brawl, Thundercracker, I don't have a Breakdown. Uh, favorite Autobots, I mean, I have two versions of Optimus, I have Hot Rod, I have Bumblebee, I have a Beachcomber. I don't have a, I do have a Hound, technically, but he's really a beater. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, and then, up there, Robot Replicas Barricade. And then we can move over to this, the other shelf of robots. Okay, so starting off down here, we have Transformers Animated, aka the show with the best Japanese opening of all time. If you haven't watched <laughs> the Japanese opening of Transformers Animated, you are missing out. Uh, some notable figures in here, uh, Blur is amazing and I love him. Uh, I pretty much have all of the Elite Guard. Uh, I love that Hot Rod. 
or Rodimus Minor, excuse me. Then there's Optimus and his team. There's some Dinobots. And then Megs and the bad guys. Pretty much have most of them. Uh, I don't have the Black Arachnia because going over here again, I have the Japanese Beast Wars redeco of the Black Arachnia figure, so I'm not too worried about it. But I do have Breakdown! I have BotCon Breakdown, oh my gosh. One of my favorite Transformers characters repainted from my favorite animated figure. Then Slipstream, and just some little things. I have the humans, too, that they have, and they made later. And then, well, actually, those actually aren't official products. Uh, but going down here, the things here, uh, those are like the, uh, the Rev guys. And then these are like Tonka, Tonka robots. They talk and they're annoying. Here, what do you say, cop? Cool, epic. Then here's a big GoBot guy. Um, I had him since I was a kid. And there's some big Optimus Prime stuff. There is uh, Caligulus that I got from the P.O. Box. And then there's the Ark. Then there's Stomp Chomp Grimlock, $3 at the thrift store, baby. Rawr indeed. Then there's Bubba Fut with a very bright forehead and a very dark chin green color. Interesting. Uh, then a helmet that you can barely see. Okay. Some plushies. Clone Trooper plush. Uh, all my pl <laughs> I do not have all my plushies on display. I'm not going to show those off today. That would probably be a separate video. Tuscan Raider. Okay, cool. Uh, Shock Trooper. Clone Break. Here's my carded clones. I've shown them off before. There's some carded clones. I love them. And going up uh, this shelf... We have the Transformers Prime guys that aren't really from the show. Um, you know, just some other versions of characters. Some other things. Some little Rescue Bots guys. wonder where I got those. The Terracons. God, I love that dead end. And then Rumble. And Ironhide. And it kind of transitions with that big old cliff jumper head from SDCC. It transitions into R.I.D. Soundwave back there. R.I.D., man. <laughs> some good figures from this line. Some. Not a lot, but some. As you can see, I don't have nearly all of them. There's Party Boy Sideswipe back there. As you can tell, I'm a very big Thew fan. Thew is my favorite YouTuber of all time ever. Uh, <laughs> then here is my Transformers Prime uh, show-appearing characters collection. Uh, I used to have a lot more Viacons. I used to have like three R.I.D. Viacons, and I just got rid of them because I don't, I don't do duplicates for Transformers. But I do have the R.I.D. Viacon, Jet Viacon General, uh, Jet Viacon, and then the first edition back there. Skyquake and Dreadwing, and then Shockwave, Megatron, Starscream, and then <laughs> the worst toy of all time, Breakdown. God, I love that Breakdown. Knockout, Soundwave, which oddly enough, mine, his face has gone from black to copper. Uh, easy fix easy fix, but I kind of like the color it's turned into, so I haven't fixed it yet. Uh, Optimus First Edition, and then that's kind of a spot for the uh, Aoi Mech Black uh, redeco for Nemesis Prime that I'm getting in the mail from China. Main Heroes, as you can tell, I've kind of opted for First Editions. I used to have the Prid RC, but I did get rid of it because it's worth a lot. There's the Humans. There's the Cyberverse Scraplet that I just wanted on this shelf. Then there's the, uh, what were they called? Mech. Then Cliff Jumper. And then I wish I had the first edition bulkhead. I decided not to get that. Not no biggie, no biggie, but it would have been nice. I might end up getting the big Predaking someday. And then there is a Gaia Unicron. And there's a poster. Alrighty, there's Prime. Moving up, we have Soundwave and Brawl. So on the Brawl side, we have Movie One Deluxe Brawl. There's Desert Ruins Brawl, Combiner Wars, some smaller Brawl boys. Uh, incomplete leader, and I think there's a like a geez, what are they called? Fast action battler or something. And sound waves, as you can tell, I've got a lot. Oh uh, man, no, get away from! You're completely turned the wrong way. I love the head sculpt on the construct bot sound wave. It's one of my favorite sound wave head sculpts. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of good sound waves. A lot of weird sound waves, <laughs> but a lot of sound waves. There's a cassette man. Uh, pre sound wave. Then there's the Cobra Bat sound wave. There's my Clone Trooper sound wave I made. Some plushy sound waves. Mighty Mug sound wave. 
And there's some vehicles. There's a Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. That is basically just Dark of the Moon sound waves alt mode. Little sound waves, movie sound waves. God, I love that sound wave. The movie the best. Then there's an, ar an art of sound wave that I got sent in the P.O. box. And then my brother's girlfriend, like, geez, ages and ages ago, made me an awesome sound wave. It's with all my paper stuff. I've been meaning to have that one there, and I want hers back right there. I need to dig it out. But don't worry, I didn't forget it. I just, I need to dig it out. Anyways, there's that. There's that right there. And then here's some reaction ones. I got the reaction sound wave and the reaction optimist. Those are the only two I'm going to get. And I will keep them carded because a 5 POA figure isn't exciting out of the box. It's all about the novelty of having a, a Star Wars styled carded Transformer figure. It's all about the novelty. And with that, there's Transformers. There's Transformers. Uh, over 1,000. Uh, 1,000, uh, 1,000, about 1,200 was the count. So, yeah. And that counts everything. That counts everything from a deluxe to a tiny thing to an even tinier thing to a big boy. Counts everything. So there's that. <laughs> and then let us move on to what everyone wants to see. The clones. So let us start over here with... There's the dead boy back there that my friend Jason sent me. That's kind of an Easter egg. There's a Coruscant landing platform. That's kind of dead space back there because it's really... You can't see it. Then there's the Grease I have. One fell and the antenna is just down there somewhere and I haven't found it yet. There's some pre-posed Phase 1s. Or Phase 2s. Oh my gosh. Don't, don't freaking kill me, man. There's Mace Windu's group. And then kind of some Tartakovsky love. And some more Tartakovsky love. Kind of some Battle Coruscant stuff. Then all my shocks. All my shock troopers. Uh, a few customs in here. A few unique items. Then just some random Phase 2 guys back there. Some different, you know, Fey, his guys, Keller. Shadow Galactic Marine, I got sent in the P.O. Box. Speaking of Galactic Marines, there's uh, my Guido... A little bit of battle my Guido display and then here's the 500 first kind of just like a briefing I I didn't intentionally choose to make my displays pre order 66 so there's nothing order 66 here this is kind of like a Clone Wars battle uh, and everyone's just kind of chilling debriefing talking some yellowed guys I know but I am looking into ulterior art ulterior uh, ways to de-yellow them because hydrogen peroxide works for like a couple months and then they become yellow and even worse than they were before i said it a thousand times i'm not going to say it again uh and then here is turbo tank jet trooper there uh atte gunner there who has completely decided to spin around and take a bit of a nap no please don't uh, and then here we have kind of a meeting right there between Gree and yoda that is a... I got him at the thrift store, that 41st Elite. Uh, he's missing a hand, so that's why he is conveniently placed like that. Just some gunners, some commanders. That Those guys get knocked over all the time. Uh, his, his gun is another thing that's fallen into the abyss, and I just haven't found it yet. And here's kind of the front lines of uh, the Battle of Kashyyyk. Dead ATRT driver. There's the rare commander, rifle butting that droid. I do not have his matching trooper yet someday someday and there's oh no did it fall oh no it's fine it's just really down there that kind of sort of in scale atrt i have right there then i have the speeder bike tarful tarful join in the action and the stab and then as you can see just some other cool stuff uh, fun fact security droids were present in the battle of kashik so that's why i have them there um and then moving on We've got 212. It's kind of like a Battle of Utapau. Uh, Pre-order 66 right there. Cody handing off the saber. Um, yeah, I know that's not... Waxer being there makes no sense, but he had nowhere else to be. There's Captain Killshot back there. Just chilling. Custom Scout Troopers. Uh, I got the boy, which someone mentioned that in their headcanon that is Boyle, and I entirely agree. Uh, so... Kind of some Utapau stuff going on. And then a battle right here. Kind of some front lines action. Some dead boys. And some droids. Then right here, we have 
Cruiser 27th, led by Ayla Sakura, then the 91st Recon Corps, and then a stack of speeder bikes. I just have them stacked back there. And then up here is the start of Clone Wars. So we have the Wolf Pack, some Wolf Pack guys, all the pilots back there, ARF Troopers, the uh, ATTE Assault Squad guys, Shadow Troopers, ARF Troopers, Mace Windu and his ARFs and pawns, and Little Boba. Then over here, we have the AV-7 turret, and then the Rookies, Rookies guys, and then uh, Sergeant Slick, and Gus and Chopper. Then this is kind of like a Christophsis battle, sort of. Uh, that's kind of what I inspired it by. And then there's Fordo up front. Oh, he fell over. That's no good. Oh, no, no good. No good. I love how they're even... My PSA is true, man. Even on bases. Oh, look. More more falling over figures. Even on bases, man. These guys fall over. It's ridiculous. There we go. I fixed them. All better. But yeah, then we're kind of getting into some security guys. Senate security. Curse on guard. And then the Clone Wars Phase 2 group. So, Wolfpack... 501st, 212th. Then him and his oddly yellowed arms. I think it's like a weird paint bleed. Like, you know how Sharpie can bleed into purple sometimes? I think the paint they used bled into like this weird white. The quality on those vehicle pack in figures in 2013 were not good at all. Anyways, let's finish up Clone Wars. Kind of breaking it up is Tartakovsky Clone Wars. Just kind of all, all lined up like that. And then there's uh, Camino, Battle of Camino. Just some, uh, kind of some arc training in the back. And there's kind of some... Wasn't it, uh... Was it Felucia or Seleucami they were on? Jeez, I don't remember with Kix and all them when Rex got shot. Uh, I, I don't remember. I'm not particularly concerned either. Someone will tell me or I'll just look it up later. I don't know. It's been forever since I've watched Clone Wars. Uh, leave me alone. Uh, then there's kind of Geonosis. Second Battle of Geonosis right there. More Second Battle Genosis stuff. That kind of transitions into Gree fighting Argaius. And then, oh look, another droid that fell over. Lovely. Uh, Ventress about ready to chop off that Green Company trooper's head. Bit of a 212th gang up on Grievous there. And the 212th speeder bike. So that's the Clone Wars said and done. Uh, I think I have every... I definitely have every unique figure for Clone Wars, for Clone Troopers. I'm, I'm missing a couple variations, but they're not too important. Then here's some Republic Commando action. My beautifully yellowed Republic Commandos. Hell yeah, I love it. Uh, not all of them were yellow before I put them in the hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide makes them yellow, fun fact. Um, like this guy down here. Um, his torso was not yellow before I put him in hydrogen peroxide. as The rest of his body was. And then I did, and then he became entirely yellow. So, yeah, I, I'm sorry. The, the thing with the yellowing clones is it actually ruins and dampers my enjoyment of this collection. I am not joking. I see a yellowed clone, and it actually frustrates me. I'm thinking, wow, that thing I used to love is just ruined now. It's like they're destroying themselves, and I hate it. Some Hawkbat guy, <laughs> hawk guys back there, and it kind of bleeds after the Republic Commandos into the Tartakovsky. A bit more Tartakovsky love, because like I said, it's my favorite Star Wars thing ever. And then this is like a Camino briefing area. Look at how lovely and yellowed my childhood Scorch has become. Hell yeah. Yeah, just some Camino love. Some Kaminoans, some Mandos, Django, all that. And then um, that's it for that part of the clones. Then up here is kind of some hangar stuff. Arc 170 with the Arc Troopers. Oh, not Arc, Arc Troopers, Arc 170 Troopers firefighter and then that's kind of like some fifth fleet security stuff just some regular white guys and the pilots that are all lovely in yellow uh, <laughs> and then up here here's some yellow guys that I actually like because they're supposed to be yellow I love those guys and I have a carded one there's my tank ATRT V19 turret or torrent and then some 442 Siege. Guess which one I put in Hydrogen Peroxide. Uh, <laughs> it's awful, man. I hate it. And then it's kind of like a little briefing there. And then some more carded guys up there. And then 
Here's my Tartakovsky Arc gunship hung up, kind of like us the Ford 229 used to have it hung up. And then some more carded guys. And then we're kind of getting full circle in this room. But there is my four pack of battle damaged guys that I will always keep in the box. And then this is Geonosis. This is another one of my favorite displays. The Battle of Geonosis. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So in the back here is kind of like a briefing area. Um, a little bit of an Easter egg with Django's helmet there. Yeah, it's just kind of like a debriefing little group. That's my very first clone ever. Very first clone figure ever is that pilot. And just some guys fighting along the side of the ATTE. A little bit of a meeting on the inside. Then on the side there you can see some of the pilots. Some officers commandeering it. And then there is the, the turret operator. And then along the side here, he is just pointing off to something in the distance. I don't know what he's doing. But here is the front lines, the actual battle of Geonosis. The droids are vastly outnumbered, but then again, I collect clone troopers. Droids are merely just accessories for them to kill. So, you can see there's Kit Fisto in the front lines. Dead clone there. That's one of my favorites right there, that lieutenant. I don't even know if we'll go and focus. I love that lieutenant. Another rifle butt. Just tons of guys getting blasted, getting wasted. Then there is a driver in the ATTE. I don't think there's a driver. I don't think I have a driver in the turbo tank. Do I? Oh, I do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't even. I guess that flap closed and I didn't even realize. Yeah. <laughs> I have some of the ATRT guys. Oh my gosh. How did I totally forget about that? Something probably fell on it and knocked it over and I totally forgot. But yeah, there's there's that. There's the clones, man. That's this whole room, pretty much. Yeah, there's the clones. All these drawers, uh, I'll show some of them off. This is going to be like a storage thing. There's uh, Transformers accessories, Star Wars accessories. In here, uh, some Hot Wheels that I actually like. Muscle. Um, that's uh, Mag Warriors. And then there, there's Pepsi Prime, his trailer because I ran out of space. G.I. Joe vehicle. And then there's this like random toys that I can't really open up. But this one I can kind of open up. You can see there's some Minions that I got from the thrift store. Oh, this whole box is random toy stuff that people sent me in the P.O. box. And it's even, it's even kind of bled over there. Then here, Gundam Accessories 1. Oop. Gundam Accessories 2. There's all my polycaps. I have tons of polycaps. And like I said, there's my camera, and uh, yeah, that's this room said and done, man. Let's pan this out, and then I think we're going to go into the hallway next. There's my chair that I sat in a few times. We're going to go into the hallway next, and then um, we'll go into my bedroom, where I have even more stuff displayed. God, I love that char. I just got it today. Uh, <laughs> I have, like, my computer desk um, in another room. And that's where I keep a lot of the figures I've been, like, currently messing with. That's, like, where a lot of them came from. But some I actually did put on the shelf just to uh, show off in this. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on to the hallway. Alrighty, so moving into the hallway, right outside my studio, there is this big old shelf that has a lot of random toys. This is, like, my random toy shelf. There's just a lot of random stuff, and I will go into it in detail. Starting off on this side... Here, uh, like I said, a little bit of NASCAR stuff. And cars, actual cars, because that's not a bad movie. It's a dinosaur. There's Cade from that game that's a thing. Uh, some random stuff I've got in the P.O. box that I like. Uh, some World of Warcraft, or just Warcraft. That Ghostbusters thing I got in uh, Loot Crate. And then, remember when Loot Crate was a thing, LOL? Little Pop Tropica guy. Who played Pop Tropica, man? Shout out to Pop Tropica. I haven't played that in ages. And then my Cylon up there. And then Robots, that movie. Jack Skellington. And down there is some Dexter's Laboratory. And there's John Cena. Hey, I, I don't see what you're showing off, man. Ha 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 ha. And there's some WWE stuff. Um, I think my Sergeant Slaughter might have fallen over. Is that him? Yeah, it's him. Uh, but I do want to get a Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins for obvious reasons. 
um, at some point. Then there's some other guys. He's missing the top of his head, unfortunately, but whatever, it's all fine. I've had him since I was a child. Uh, some mini mate SpongeBob, some Shrek. This is my Shrek stuff. Look at that. Hell yeah. But Ugly Martians. Who remembers that show? I'm missing one of them. Missing one of the characters. But I had those since I was a kid. Uh, then Ah Real Monsters. <laughs> and then uh, Christmas. I have uh, figures representing my favorite Christmas movies back there. And then uh, the real steel guy kind of back there. You know, just kind of some representations of the old Rankin Bass stuff. And then there's uh, Iron Giant. And there's a dice. I have some dice stuff from when I was a kid. And there's, was that the real steel robot or another robot? No, wait, that's Voltron. That's the Voltron up there. That's the real steel robot. I can't really see too well. Because it's kind of high up. There's uh, some alien, alien racers guy. Z-Bots. Who remembers Z-Bots? And some knockoff Sword of Transformers guys and other tiny robots. Up there, some Voltron figures, some random stuff. I love it. There's Spawn. I do want to get that new MK Spawn at some point. That's just Z-Bots and some random stuff. I don't even know what all of it is, honestly. Uh, Tenkai Knights. That was a really cool toy line. Cra uh, some Crash Test Dummies. There's uh, my three Mag Warriors. I love Mag Warriors. And then one pouch! And then hell yeah, some Masters of the Universe. I might need to give them a bigger shelf at some point, because I actually plan on collecting the, uh, not entirely, I'm not going to get every character, but I might actually get some of the uh, Motu Origin stuff coming out. And there's my NECA Ice Dragon. And there's some Vitruvian Hacks. I love those. Then there's my Skeleton Warriors. I just have two, but hey, that's nice. Good enough for me. And some more Skeleton figures back there. And then in here, uh, another part of the hallway, I got this sh uh, store display from work and I really just wanted to use it now. I didn't need this space, but I just wanted to use it. So here's kind of like a random shelf of just some random guys. And then down here, here is uh, some Valkyrie Macross stuff, Robotech. And then there's 30 minute missions. That's what I have so far, but I'm probably gonna get more. <laughs> Because I really like that line. Look at that guy. He's so sweet. That appeals to me on a spiritual level. Another thing that appeals to me on a spiritual level. Mythic Legion's Pixis. Absolutely stunning figure. Absolutely one of my favorites. And then the Templar. And then because he goes so well with Pixis. DCUC Ares. Same scale. Same colors. Same sculptors. Yeah. Works great. And then down here. Um, you saw the 3 and the quarter inch stuff uh, on the... Uh, uh, the, 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 the play set in my studio there's my small little Fortnite collection just some of the cooler figures I wanted to get and then down here here's Halo on the shelf uh, I've shown off this collection in a video but this is how they're displayed and there's my two new ones right there the little Mega Constructs guys yeah I really like that collection so that's pretty much it with the hallway stuff. Um, not a lot. I honestly don't need the stuff in the hallway to be in the hallway. I'm sure I can make the space in my rooms. But you know what? I kind of want stuff a little more spread out. So that's what I did. Anyways, let's go on to the other thing. And then the final room with this awesome art. We have the bedroom with all my stuff in it. I have a lot of stuff. I'm sorry. I do. I have a lot of stuff. But hey... Um, you, you guys have wanted a, a complete tour, and this is it. But yeah, that's, uh, epic freaking art right there. Hell yeah. Um, then here, you're immediately greeted with the Lego stuff. Um, I have, a lot of this is from my childhood, but, uh, some of it is kind of stuff I've kind of bought later. Like, childhood, childhood, eh, kind of later teenage years, childhood. Guess which parts I put in hydrogen peroxide. Uh, what, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, that it would work. Alrighty, so on the back of the door, we have even more awesome artwork. Um, all of this is the fan art. I think this, is this the first time I've shown it off in a video? I think so. This is all the fan art you guys, you guys have sent me. That's all of it. Uh, I really appreciate it. I love it. And, uh, that's the fan art. 
Here's my, I got the thrift store, little Patrick Star over the door hanger. I, I have my belt hung up on it at the moment. But up there, solo poster. And then which way should we start? Um, there's Marvel there. Let's start this way. So here is Lego. This hasn't changed too much. There's kind of the cool pieces that I've been sent. There's Harry Potter, classic spaceman. I love that Hogwarts. I got that. That's one. That's one word. I used to have a speech impediment, right? One word that I still cannot say is Hogwarts. Hogwarts. I, I'm, am I saying it right? Hogwarts. I think I'm saying it okay. Uh, Toy Story, right there. Lego Toy Story, the old line. I don't have any from the new line. And Bionicles. I know a lot of you guys like Bionicles. Some Hero Factory, some Bionicles. That's a custom one right there. And some newer Bionicle stuff. Then a bi uh, Batman. <laughs> Bionicle Batman. And then, up front, a little Minecraft set. Some of my favorite indie minifigs. Some Disney minifigs. Cybermen, Sonic. Lego Movie. Um... And then Spongebob, uh, lacking Spongebob. <laughs> I need a Spongebob. Batman in the Tumblr, I love that set. Knight's Kingdom, oh my gosh, don't get me started on Knight's Kingdom. Uh, that is my jam right there. That's just some other knight stuff. Tank, Emperor's Shuttle, other Lego minifigs, kind of some more classic ones. The original Ninjago cast. I uh, liked Ninjago when it first came out. Uh, for the first wave, and then after the first wave, I kind of just grew out of Lego. Snail tank. Some uh, space police. Some power miners. Minecraft. That was a poly bag. You got too many figs for that poly bag. That's a newer one. ATTE, turbo tank. Then some uh, pirate stuff. <laughs> if you're if you're an OG, if you're a hardcore Lego fan like me, you know the whole red coat versus blue coat battle and I was a red coat even though blue is my favorite color I don't understand that uh, collectible minifigs right there not all of them not all the ones I have but a fair few my favorites and then uh, ATDP and then that's some other Star Wars stuff we'll talk about later right here some yo-yos I left in the package because I'm not too good at yo-yoing there's some Hot Wheels some Pez and right there, there's a McFarlane Dragons, uh, Angler Dragon, Carded Superior Iron Man. Uh, that was like $2 at Walmart, the Fortnite Visitor, three and a quarter inch. And then I got that from Bobby in the P.O. Box, that Batman. Let's talk about the Lego. Uh, here's the construction figures. Grievous, the Fets, Kylo, Vader, Stormtrooper. Just some other little random bits and bobs. Astros, droids. The birth of Darth Vader. It's a newer set. I really liked that. I had to get it. Some Sithy guys, some bad guys. Force Unleashed. And then right here, Shuttle Tidarium with some Endor Rebels. Then the Speeder from Solo. I had to get that battle pack. That's a 2010 ad at. Unfortunately, I got the version with the white sticker instead of the clear sticker. And then the Ultimate Collector Series Grievous. Some of the parts, it's so funny, some of the parts got a little yellow, and I'm like, oh, I'll treat them in hydrogen peroxide. Then after I did, they got very yellow. So, I mean, they were pure white when they first came out. Then here's my Imperial Army. Uh, no duplicates. Uh, just different minifigs. I got that Range Trooper pretty recently, real cheap. I don't have them all. I don't have a Death Trooper, Short Trooper. Then again, I don't collect Lego like I used to. It's pretty much just a, hey, I want to buy that. Then there's a commander in there then there's a lot of stormtrooper minifigs on the inside i doubt i can give you a peek but there's a lot down here old versus new of the uh drop ships my shiny vader uh <laughs> that i got from the lego store vader's tie dude i got that vader's tie so long ago i remember i had to stop to do my homework before i could build that and then some mando stuff some rebel pilots mandalorian set that came out that i had to get I might, I might get the Razor Crest. I don't know, man. I might get that Razor Crest. But there's the Slave One. Sorry if these are kind of dusty, man. AT, uh, uh, is that the ATDP? And then that's the AT, AT, ATAP, I think. I don't know. I always get that wrong. I don't know why. Then over here, Classic Interceptor with some OT characters. 
land speeder. Uh, then I got that Rogue Friday, just so just so I could get the Revan minifig. I got that, and uh, some of those are kind of newer. But then again, I got them on sale, or I just felt like buying them. Then down here, I fell for the Force Awakens hype. Got a lot of Force Awakens Lego right there. Kylo and the baddies. There's a new Sith Trooper. And I had to have that Elite Pilot. And there's some guys pouring out of the Troop Transport. Other Sith Trooper boys. You can see I don't even have the Executioners because I don't collect it, you know? I don't collect Lego like I used to. Then there's my custom Snow Speeder. And then my... Then the official set is somewhere. Oh yeah, it's right behind it. For the Battle Pack. Then here... <laughs> um... I spent the full retail on this because I really wanted it, and I was so Force Awakens hyped up, and I'd gotten a lot of money. There's Luke. Someone sent me that Luke. That's awesome. And Rey and Finn. I, I do love that Falcon, though. And then Maz Kanata and her little group. Her little castle. Then down here, here's prequel and Clone Wars. So there's Phantom Menace and all the battle droid variants. And then Wookiees. And then I got that at the thrift store. Oh my gosh. Then there's my very dusty, very old uh, Republic cruiser. Oh man. I have so many fond memories of that Anakin Starfighter from 2008. Man, I was what, 10 years old? 9 years old? I want to say 9. Cad Bane, uh, Newt Gunray. Then there. Man, I'm sorry. These are so dusty. Lego's really hard to dust, and I just don't feel like it. Grievous wheel bike from I think 2014. Some more starfighters and some Jedi and the Magna Guard. I love that minifig. And that's it for Lego Star Wars. Going down. There's the big wing Tie Fighter. My brother sold me that, and I don't have space for it, so it's literally on the floor. But here's Lego Marvel now. Guardians of the Galaxy. I kind of fell into that too. Uh, <laughs> I don't buy stuff like I used to. I don't go crazy. Except I did get the Hall of Armor. Uh, I had to get the end game Hall of Armor set and put all my armors on it. I had to, absolutely had to. Not all of those are real minifigs, some of them are knockoffs. But you know what, man, it's fine. Uh, there's Igor, there's a custom Ironmonger I made. That helmet's a knockoff Mark I. And then there's Hulkbusters, both of them. And then over here, oh no, they fell! I tried to pick everything up before I did the video, but I didn't realize they fell. Some other LEGO Marvel stuff. So yeah, that's pretty neat. It's pretty cool. Then there's uh, like that Iron Man mech back there. So yeah, all the nowhere stuff. Then there's the old, um, I shouldn't say old, but the Rebels troop transport. And then down here, amidst all my wires, um, there is that. And then there is uh, not real weapons, but I can use them if I need to. Uh, <laughs> and then there's uh, Stormtrooper, trash can I need to empty, tissues that are, I use so infrequently, they're still from Christmas. Um, then my, oh my gosh, look at these. Because I, okay, so I love the, the meme of tissues by the bed, right? But I, my sinuses and my, my mucus just kills me, man. It is awful sometimes. But there's a phone, <laughs> there's living things. This is a bedroom after all. But for now, there's my sideshow and hot toys. Stormtroopers. And then, moving along, here's my G.I. Joe display. Love, love, love this display. It's not perfect. Some things have fallen over. There's my Marauder's Task Force guy, probably the only one I'll ever own. It's cool, but I just don't need more. Crimson Hiss that's dusty as shit. Uh, Python Patrol guys talking to the hazmat viper saying, hey, look out for my zombie. He's going to mess you up. Uh, <laughs> and then, just Joe's versus Cobra's, man. That's what's going on. Got my new Iron Grenadiers in there. You can see all my Vipers. Wide scope overkill. Cobra Bats all around. Another Crimson Hiss. And then there's kind of like Baroness and her shadows. And Mindbender being like, oh, look out! And then Cobra Commander ready to go down with a certain Megatron in his hand. With a Crimson Guard. And then a little bit of, oh, snipe him there! Uh, I always, I always forget if that's Tomax, Tomax or Zamot. Cause see, my brother, my brother and I, we we don't have them both, right? 
One of us has one and one of us has the other. That's how we do it. Because it's kind of it's kind of a cute little thing. But yeah, there's um, here's like my lined up Joes, my Snake Eyes variants, Storm Shadow variants. I really do like a lot of those Joe figures, but I'm not too big into Joes as I am Cobras. There's like Fireflies and Cobra Commanders, uh, Rise of Cobra, and then some variants that just didn't fit in my big battle display. All my blue shirts and Snow Serpents. Then up here, here's Sigma Six and some 12 inches. 12 inches. I don't have a lot of 12 inches. Oh, I, I, we did have a fair few 12 inches growing up, but they're kind of in states of disarray. Cobra bats. Oh, to love the Cobra bats. And then Legends of the Shoe. That's an inside joke. Dave Viper right there. Dave Viper, everybody. And and Legends of the Shoe. <laughs> I'd love to make like a goofy stop motion with that someday, but I never will. Neo Vipers, because I love Neo Vipers. Crimson Guards back there, too. And then kind of like some, oh no, more victims. Big Boa, how dare you? Um, just some older Joes. And then that's not even a G.I. Joe. That's like a, I got it at Big Lots. Freaking, um, it's like a 12-inch military figure that was only like 10 bucks. That's really freaking good. There's the McCullen Legacy set back there. And there's G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes. Love that. So yeah, there's G.I. Joe's. There's G.I. Joe's. And then, oh my gosh. Uh, Hill Carded Joe's. Gotta talk about the Carded Joe's. So yes, there we go. I love the Carded Joe's. I want to pursue the Cobra at Cobra Commander. Uh, because that Cobra Trooper, that Cobra Bat, and Cobra Commander were the three G.I. Joe figures that got me into collecting the modern stuff. So, yeah, um, not a lot. Uh, it's not a very big collection. Well, it is a big collection, but it's not like everything, you know. But, yeah, there's that. And then let's uh, talk about the 12-inch Star Wars. So there is Plo Koon, kind of off on his own. Then Vintage Fett. Then Droids. And then it branches off into the bad guys. Awful Grievous, Amazing Dooku, Amazing Maul, Jango Fett, Zam. And then there's... The Imperial Army. I love how he hit. I have him with his arms crossed. I just thought that was funny. Ty Pilot back there. Thank you, Comic Figure Blog, for that. Oh, excuse me, Dripping Ooze. That's his new name now. Shout out to him. He's the one that really wanted me to make this video, okay? Shout out to you, man. More Imperials. That's the Disney Store Vader, Royal Guard, Krennic, Disney Krennic, Sand Troopers. And then uh, <laughs> we're, we're getting along. I'm on my bed now. I'm on my bed. But Boba Fett. There's Han and Carbonite back there. Thanks to my brother for that. Then the Bounty Hunters. Boosh. Garandin. Guido. Then Ponda Baba back there because he doesn't like standing up. The Gamorrean. Um, that's specifically not the Cantina Band member, but it is a Bith. That's from the Jabba's Palace. But that's uh, Lando back there. The Tuscan that likes falling over all the time. That's why he's in the back. So he can just fall over and not harm anything. Then there's the Jawa. Uh, there's Beetlejuice the Jawa. Um, and then uh, I guess I will take a break for that section. Talk about these carded Star Wars things. Those little keychains hung up that I got in the P.O. Box. Star Wars Command. Some uh, freaking Disney Infinity and some Lego right there. And then this is my Black Series. This is what my, besides the clones, this is what my Black Series has become. That's it. So up top, we have the main heroes. And then Ray, because I really like that Ray. I like that Ray enough to actually have it, believe it or not. And I don't have Sabine anymore. I don't have the Mandalorian. Um, because I just don't collect the six inch stuff anymore, you know? Um, I do still get some Imperials, not all of them. There's some right there, some trooper, like the main three trooper variants, uh, Tarkin. Like I didn't get a uh, Piet. There's an the old Emperor. I'm not gonna get the new one. Then going down, we have some more troopers. I couldn't get rid of these, but I really don't need them. I don't need all those shore troopers and everything. But I didn't want to get rid of them. And here's some of my favorites, the Sand Troopers. My custom, that's the cu my custom Stormtrooper Commander. I will get the uh, real one, but I'm just going to leave it carded. 
then the custom black kiwi made me shock trooper sand trooper jet trooper now down here you can hardly even see it it's past my bed i just i couldn't think of anything else to do with them my first order i really cut back on them uh i used to have have like an army of these i used to have a lot of stormtroopers i used to have another snow trooper um but i just cut back on it because i don't you know i don't do it i don't do um six inch anymore so I have another first order army now that you will see later. So I guess a little bit of a tease of what's to come. But here, let's talk about this stuff up here for Star Wars. Then I'll go over to the other side of the room. Uh, you can see the TIE fighters over there. And then a lot of little stuff, fighter pods, little bus, little action fleet, vehicles, bomber right there. This is basically just the miscellaneous micro machines. I don't really have action fleet. I meant I, I meant micro machines. Various TIE fighters and the little things. You know, Star Wars Command, First Order TIE, Prototype TIE Advanced. Uh, there's my toy box and uh, Disney Infinity First Order. And there's that, and you can see I'm just there's a fan sent me that Kylo. I just have them back there. And then there's X-Wing, just some random, you know, kind of McDonald's, you know, freaking toys. And other things. So yeah, there's uh, there's pretty much one whole half of the room. That's this half of the room. A lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff. Now we just have this half of the room to discuss. And there is a lot to it. Alrighty, so before we go over there, uh, I like Bengal Tigers. Uh, yes, I did watch Tiger King. Uh, yes, it was hilarious, but also horrible. Um, so yeah, there's a big Bengal Tiger. But down there, um, specifically I want to show, I have my G.I. Joe Grizzly, which this little... It doesn't stay. Like, it just will not stay on. It's really irritating. Like, it will not stay on. I don't know what's wrong. I don't think mine broke. I remember this always kind of being a problem. But it's irritating. There's my Grizzly. There's my walking Iron Man. Look! Look at freaking... Oh my gosh. Stay, please. It's my walking Iron Man. My, um... Shell Razor. That's a bag of bags. That's a box of bags. I, I am not even joking. Um, and then going on down here more, you can see some stuff in storage, at at uh, the, the skipper thing, there's more stuff back there, Godzilla, I, it's kind of storage, that's a dual masters figure, do back, big ol' at at my childhood monkey, and uh, Lotso, that's kind of just with the Toy Story stuff. And there's Ducky and Bunny kind of hung up how they were in the movie. Rancor. My childhood Spider-Man figures. Not all of them were childhood. Um, the Thing was not childhood. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I was actually looking for those for a very long time. And I'm happy I found them. The phone from Toy Story. Uh, the Lane Speeder RC <laughs> that I still torment my cats with from time to time. And my shuttle. Uh, In-package Black Series Ahsoka that I think is cool. And then, uh, let's just show off the Toy Story again. There's lots, so... This shelf actually has changed since I did make my video. You can see it has changed a lot. Uh, I got this signature buzz from the thrift store. Which I really like with the belt. My model kits. Forky. I really do like this collection. I really do. But I have no real plans to add to it. I do have a Mr. Potato Head back there. I, do, I did get Benson on clearance. Um, so various young child YouTube channels can enjoy that. Woody and Jesse, then Bo Peep and Buzz, and then there's my big old Buzz in the box there. And yes, I do have a Barbie. Leave me alone. Toy Story gave me an excuse to own a Barbie doll. Because the thing is, as a toy collector, as a toy enthusiast, Barbie is the biggest girl toy brand, and I kind of wanted a Barbie, you know? Just one. And that is like the perfect opportunity to have one without it being horribly out of place. So, anyways, finishing up the 12 inch Star Wars, uh, aka Star Wars Barbies, we have Obi Wan, the main heroes, that's the Disney Leia, Revenge of the Sith Chewbacca, Force Awakens C3PO, but you can't really see the arm too much, so I don't care. 
R2, that's a newer Hasbro one. And then some Disney, Disney Jins, Disney Ray, that's the Forces of Destiny Sabine. And there's the die cast helmets, there's the little excavation skulls, Disney Kylo, then there's the Anakins. Old Anakin, Vader Anakin, and Rots Anakin. I actually really like that display. Then over here, we have some Unleashed in front of the TIE Interceptor and a Jar Jar that's horribly out of place. And that's the Walker from Solo, Old TIE Fighter with Galactic Heroes. That is the Movie Realization Stormtrooper, Potato Head, Tarples, ATSTs. I don't know if we'll get the Raider since I already have two versions of that mold already. You can just see there's a lot of random Star Wars stuff, a lot of vehicles, applause figures in the back. Just a lot of stuff, man, and it's hard to film. It's really hard to film. Some fighters, Grievous Blaster, Grievous Figure up there, Grievous Starfighter. Then kind of going into the Fett stuff. Django Fett, Boba Fett, Django Slave 1, Unleashed Django and Boba, Sarlacc Pit, some, then there's a uh, the freaking, oh that's a dewback right there, then uh, Sarlacc Pit with the skiff, some Pez on the skiff, because <laughs> I'm that desperate for space, there's Enfy's Nest riding on top of the Sarlacc, because I'm running out of space, and then some more Galactic Heroes and little things, some more Pez, and then the vintage Rebel Troop Transport that I absolutely love. Then, um, let us talk about this three and quarter inch stuff. So these are the prequels. Non-clone troopers, of course, no clones. Um, we have Phantom Menace. A lot of cool Phantom Menace stuff. Battle Droid 2-pack carded. And then you can just see the characters. You know who they are. That is a Qui-Gon with the light-up lightsaber head. That is pretty much the definitive way to have a Qui-Gon. And then you can just see the Gungans back there. And then Attack of the Clones. Some Django stuff. Elan Silis Bagano. Poggle. I do have the Arena Beasts. I love having the Arena Beasts. Padme and Anakin stuff going on. Dex in his droid and then that's kind of some jedi back there and the new gun ray kind of crowded because of the accolade but you know what it's fine and revenge of the sith my favorite movie of all time i have the uh arrest of palpatine guys right there some more jedi mustafar guys senate guys bail organa some droids you can see i kind of have a little bit of rhythm to it bad guys grievous his magna guards Wookiees. I have a lot of Wookiees back there. Then I have Palpatine in his various forms. Just some more bad guys. Light up lightsaber Vader. Rots Tarkin. And then there's Vader with Padme and Obi-Wan and the Emperor. And then this. I, I cannot even de-yellow him because he has electronics in him. I cannot put him in hydrogen peroxide. So that's unfortunate. Maybe the cream... Maybe the Clairol cream might work. That's kind of the method I'm thinking about using. Here's my vintage. Here's my vintage Star Wars. Not a lot, but that is a vintage cardboard piece from the Millennium Falcon back there. You can kind of see how it goes. Imperials to uh, droids to scum and villainy to uh, aliens. Cantina aliens then good guys and rebels. So you can see how that goes. I do like that collection a lot. Um, I, I have no real plans to add to it, though. I'm not a vintage collector. I've just kind of gotten a lot. Uh, anyways, let's talk about the carded stuff. There is Power of the Force Tarkin, Sand Trooper, TC-14, very proud to have that, Dirge. I don't have a lot of Tartakovsky stuff. That's a line I need to get into, the original Tartakovsky uh, animated line. That's, that's like something I've put on, that's a collection I've decided to put on the shelf, you know, for a rainy day. Oh, Panda Bab is kind of, there we go. Uh, but yeah, um, maybe one day I'll get into those. Gamorian, Panda, Luke, Luke, Obawan, Babat Fat, Tai Pullet. I really do like having Vader and Kylo together. That Kylo is the only, well, that Luke too. 
That Kylo's one of the only newer vintage collection figures I got just to keep carded. Then there's Malgus, Django, Ralph McQuarrie, Rebel, Stormtrooper Commander, Demise of Grievous. I love that figure. 501st, Proto Fett, and Rocket Firing Fett. And then there is a little resistance for Sword or Stormtrooper there. So, next up, continuing on with the three and a quarter inch, is the Empire. I've made a whole video about the Empire. So, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I'll tell you what I'm showing you. Kind of shadow guys, elite, elite guys, commandos, space troopers, gunners, and death star troopers. Then going into some droids and officers and royal guards. I'm, I'm pretty proud that I have pretty much everything I really need for the Empire. That's a Palpatine with the 5 POA head. That's the Black Series Wave 1 Vader. Probably my favorite Vader. More officers, more Royal Guards, more droids. And it transitions into pilots and drivers. Right there. Really do like that collection. And then moving down, I don't have the uh, fifth brother, but... Uh, I'm not too worried about it, because I don't really like the Inquisitors. Then going down, here's the Troopers. There's the Troopers. So, I did redo this, actually. There's Scout Troopers, and Range Troopers, kind of in front there. And Specialized Troopers, Navy Commandos, Jump Troopers, Jet Troopers, Magma Trooper, uh, Evo Troopers, Incinerator Troopers, Mimbin Troopers, Sand Troopers, Three rows for sand troopers. And then stormtroopers. It's all my stormtroopers. Some are yellow, some are not. There's a new remnant stormtrooper right there. There's my shore troopers. They really needed their own row. And then snow troopers. And finally, concept figures and troopers and that silver guy. So yeah, I love my empire. Love, love, love my empire. And moving down, we have pre uh, sequel sequel trilogy so right there we do have sequel speeder bike black series well, that wasn't black series that was like toys r us exclusive speeder then that's um the newer probe then here here is prequel good guys and then scum and villainy in the back god i love that ray that ray is one of my favorites and then here is the stormtrooper army all three of the officers are articulated and then there's two normal articulated troopers, and then all the rest are 5 POA. And then there's the custom articulated pyre. Two executioners, two flame troopers, and then snow troopers right there. I wish, I hope we get a snow trooper articulated soon. Custom articulated Von Reg, TIE pilots, and then the red boys, Sith troopers, Praetorian guards. And then there is Snoke, and then a slightly turned Kylo, otherwise he will knock everything over. Uh, but that's the Black Series Kylo, on masthead. head. And then his Knight of Ren, the only one. And then some Huxes back there. Just pretend the one with the hat is not Hux. And then another Phasma, because why not? So there's the sequel stuff, and then let us move down below. I'm actually going to get on my bed, that might actually be easier. And just lay on my bed and show you. Ooh. Okay, so this bookshelf, we have Jabba's Palace, which this is an almost complete collection. Missing a few characters, but I'm not too worried about it. You can see the TVC playset stuff in there. I did not back the barge. Even though I have every character I would need to go with the barge, I did not back the barge. But yeah, I really do love that collection. That's really cool. And then going down, we have the Cantina. Now this collection, I pretty much do have everybody. I even have the right number of band members. And then that's kind of Maz Eisley with some Tuscans and Bantha. And then down here, I'm re I really love this display. Echo Base. I love Echo Base as a setting. So I really wanted a whole shelf dedicated just to Echo Base. Because I have a lot of Echo Base stuff. And I figured, hey, let's give it its own shelf, because why not? So yeah, that's uh, 
kind of some original trilogy stuff that doesn't go with the other original trilogy stuff that you will see very shortly. So, um, the rest of the OT stuff's kind of right up there. And I gotta get up from my bed and show you. So, running over as fast as I can, knocking everything over in the process. Uh, moving up, we have Clone Wars. It's my Clone Wars stuff. Non-clones, of course, no clones. You can see I don't have a lot, I don't have everything, but then again, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too big of a collector of the Clone Wars stuff. And right there, I took them off my desk just to have them here for now. The Mandalorian uh, and Cara Dune, then Force Unleashed. Then just kind of some Sithy guys, Sithy Sithy guys, and some Tartakovsky love. Not a lot, but some. And then Old Republic Era. Gotta love that. And moving down, we were moving to A New Hope. So here's my Rebels from A New Hope. Good guys from A New Hope. We really need a new Leia. Oh my gosh, we need a new Leia. That Leia is 16 years old. We need a new Leia. And then right there, kind of transitions into Rebels. And Solo. A little bit of a Solo section right there. I don't have a lot of solo stuff. I try not to get five POA, uh, so I don't have like Tobias Beckett and all them. I'm hoping for articulated ones at some point. And then down here, kind of some OTEU stuff. And then Bounty Hunters. Then it transitions into Empire. So Empire, I said they're really weird. Uh, two Wampas. And then there's the Cave of Evil set. I love that set. And then Bespin stuff. Not a lot of Hoth stuff for obvious reasons. Then we move down. All my Rebel Pilots. There's Garvin Drees right there chilling like the boss he is. And then Rebel Pilots transitions into Rogue One. So there's the Rogue One team. I had to get them. 5 POA or not, I had to get them. And some other Rogue One stuff. As you can see, I didn't go completionist. But, you know, I have it. And then this is Return of the Jedi. So there's my Ewoks. Actually, I actually have quite a few Ewoks. Not all of them, but quite a few. And then... More Endor stuff. I love those Endor commandos. Then it transitions into Rebels. And then, oh my gosh, Vader, why did you do this? That's a 5 POA Vader that what wants to fall over. I think that's the one that came with the probe. There we go. Yeah, just some Rebels, and then some End Celebration guys, some Ghosts. So that's cool. And then, <laughs> let's finish off 3 quarter in Star Wars with my Tarkins. Still don't have the Retro Tarkin. I will get it someday. Boba Fett's. I love that Galaxy of Adventure Stormtrooper. I just like it in the tube, though. And then, 500th figure Vader. And then all my Vaders. There's a lot of Vader figures they've made. I don't have them all. I don't go completionist on everything besides clones, but I do have those evaders. So, let's, let's just talk about this shelf, and then I need a little bit of a breathing break. Indiana Jones. I don't have a lot, but I have what I really want. And then that transitions into some Jurassic Park. And then, Small Soldiers! Yes! I love this collection so much. I need the big one of him. I need the big Punch It. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with my collection. So I need Big Punch It. And then my Yu-Gi-Oh! The greatest cartoon of all time. Uh, it has been cut back a bit because my brother did take his. So I'm just left with the ones that I had. And then some other stuff. Link, Scorchio from Neopets. Some... Dual Masters. And then some Rescue Heroes. Some Robots. I got uncovered of those from my childhood. Uh, Jurassic Park Raptor. Um, big ol' Iron Giant from Walmart for only 20 bucks. And then Big Toys. Let's talk about these and then I'll call it quits. There's uh, Maddie and Chena, that big ol' robot. Um, <laughs> if you can figure out what Maddie and Chena is, kind of a play on that, you'll, you'll get bonus points. Big ol' Sonic down there, Hopper, Voltron. 
Uh, that is a Ninja Storm Megazord from my childhood. He's still pretty complete. Big ol' Batman. Big ol' Shrek. Big ol' Spongebob. And then all my... <laughs> my Breakout Beasts I just have no idea what to do with. And then, um... Some carded stuff there. Okay. Breathe, breathe break. Breathe break. <sighs> Alrighty, let's finish this. This is, the last section is my Marvel, DC, NECA, Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, Lord of the Rings, Avatar stuff. This is it. So, on this wall here, we have a little Mr. Freeze Hot Wheel, carded Mission Masters Mr. Freeze, and then carded Jet Wing Mr. Freeze. It comes with a ring, guys. And then there's Frosty. And then a cable, because I... Let, let's, I'll, I'll show you in a second. A uh, really nice metal uh, poster panel of Iron Man. Then Marvel Universe Iron Spider that I figured I'd just hang up like that, because why not? Hot Wheels, Milano. And all this stuff right here on this top shelf. Every single thing has been something that someone has sent me or given to me. Uh, besides that black spider-man i bought that for like two dollars but yeah um i i didn't make this collection intentionally but i love this collection uh going up we have uh loki that was on clearance for like three dollars at uh rite aid uh just got that like last year and that's like what a eight, seven eight year old figure lovely oh man i love that iron man the mark ii i really wanted an iron man 2 figure on the card then up there is a Peter Parker, <laughs> another one that was uh, a donation. That's a Loot Crate, Captain America. I actually liked it enough to display it. Yondu, because that was like the only Yondu toy you could get back then. And then a Rhino. And then a Multiverse, Nightfall Batman, Asriel. And then a, uh, uh, what was it, Kubrick, Mr. Freeze. And then, oh no, he fell. This Batman, I really liked having this Batman... Kind of like perched right up there. And he likes falling now. There's a night crawler down there. Crawling in the night. <laughs> okay. Uh, there is Marvel Universe. Guardians of the Galaxy. And then that transitions into... That transitions into Deadpool. There's a Mandarin back there too. And that transitions into Spider-Man. Just some other random characters as well. I love that one. That one's a really good Spidey. Then down here, we have 2000, 2012 Avengers. Uh, I just really wanted a collection of them. I do have Loki with his spear, but Loki fell and his spear is somewhere. Maybe we'll find it while I'm filming. And then some little Marvel boys. And then a 90s Spider-Man. And then now into the Batman. That right there is the best Batman toy of all time, and you cannot tell me otherwise. Yeah, it's three and quarter inch Batman. Transitioning into some more Kubricks. Transitioning into some 4-inch Batman from the Keaton movies. Well, except Riddler isn't Keaton, but whatever. Then Lego Batman. I have all the Mr. Freeze minifigs I've ever made. And I don't have all the characters I want for Lego Batman, but I have a lot of them. Lego Batman's one of my favorite Lego themes, so I've kind of wanted to keep with it a bit. There's all my Batman variants. And then transitioning into Ninja Turtles. There's the Sonic Ninja Turtles. I've been meaning to make a video on those. And then there's a, one of those stacky crane guys. And there's some... You can see, I have, I have all of them. I have, I have, like, every, you know, Sonic Ninja Turtle thing they've made. It's almost like someone I know works at Sonic and gives them to me. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> shout out to you! But yeah, there's... Some other Ninja Turtle stuff. And there's Batman doesn't want to stand up. I love this Batman, though. This this isn't the nicest Batman cape. I mean, to be fair, though, like, look what I'm trying to stand him up on. But he was standing fine for a while. I don't know what went wrong. Hmm. I just thought it'd be kind of nice to be standing up there. There we go. That's fine for now. There's Mikey and Batman's cowl. I, that, that's a figure I had to get. Then there's the Leo that came with Batman. Then there's kind of some vintage turtle turtle goodness. With uh, furry April O'Neil. And then moving down, we have some more vintage turtle goodness. More vintage goodness. I love Anthrax. He gave me Anthrax. <laughs> and then there's uh, movie stars. 
turtles. I love those. Leatherhead right there. And then that moves into um, the 2012 show. A lot of these people sent me. Bebop, Rocksteady, April O'Neil. Um, a lot of them people sent me. So that's awesome. And then up there, Rat King, Spider Bites, Kirby Bat. All three of those are like ones people sent me too. And that transitions into uh, the Michael Bay movies. None of them have their, well, Leo has his weapons, but none of the others have their weapons, but I'm not too concerned. And that's a guy from The Next Mutation, I think. Then that transitions into the 2003 Turtles, my the Turtles I grew up with. That's why I have this 2003 play set, because this is the 2003 Turtle Lair. And I figured, hey, that would be a cool place to kind of, like, I se I sectioned it off too, so it kind of makes sense. And then we have um, the history of Leonardo with some figures kind of just tucked behind it. Because uh, <laughs> I tried to limit the space I have for certain uh, properties. And after a while, if NECA keeps releasing all this cool stuff, I'm going to keep running out of space. There's the NECA movie stuff. Uh, best, turtle toy, best turtle toys ever made right there. NECA Toon stuff. And then there's the Shredder from the TMNT uh, Batman movie. Then there's the Mirage Foot Soldier. Then this kind of transitions into my meat and potatoes of Ninja Turtle collecting. Shredder and Foot Soldier stuff. So there's a ton of Shredders. That transitions into Foot Soldiers. I love that stuff. I love, love, love it. And then, with that, let's go down to these shelves. So we have 6-inch Batman, kind of just randomly here. Uh, some theatrical Batman stuff, and some older uh, Mattel stuff back there. There's like Keaton Batman, Affleck Batman, Adam West Batman. Then there's Beetleborgs, the shiniest, coolest toys ever made. And then some Vintage Rangers, some Ninja Storm Rangers. A lot of those are from my childhood, because I, I had uh, Power Rangers toys um, growing up, but I never really watched the show, but I have a lot of Ranger stuff back there. There's some bigger figures, some Megazords. And then I don't have any of the new Hasbro stuff yet, but I love these 6-inch Bandai Lightning figures. I love them. Uh, they made my two childhood teams entirely. Well, they didn't make um, Navy or Crimson or the green one for uh, Lightning for them, unfortunately. But Or Legacy. These were Legacy. Lightning's Hasbro. But they didn't make Dino Thunder. And I had to get the white. And the blue and Time Force Yellow I got at the thrift store. Figure Arts, Figure Arts Shinken Red, and some Imaginext. And then that transitions below to Lord of the Rings. Here's my Lord of the Rings collection as it stands, or leans. I uh, don't have everything I want just yet. There's my tubs that Tubs sent me. Sauron, Pride and Joy, the collection. That kind of transitions into some bad guys, ring wraiths, then some older guys, a tree beard back there, orcs. Yeah, cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. That King of the Dead is so bright in uh, in, the, in the night when I turn off my lights. Oh no, he fell. Oh no, that breakout beast. Now, those boxes down there, uh, those two are Bionicle, and that one is uh, Sonic stuff in storage. So, we're getting there, we're getting there. I want to finish this off in one more take. Okay, Arkham. I love Arkham games. Arkham City is my favorite video game of all time. I'm not completionist on this line, but as you can see, I have a lot of them. I didn't get Clayface because it looks awful. I didn't get Deadshot because I don't like his design. I don't have Victor Zaz because he's expensive as shit. Um, but other than that, I don't have the uh, Joker either from Arkham Knight because it just lo it's awful. I got it, and I'm like, no, I don't like it, and I got rid of it. But yeah, there's... Uh, there's that. I just got Morning Harley. After a uh, spoiler alert, Joker dies. Uh, I do have that Harley now. I love that Solomon Grundy. Oh man, I love that. One thing that sucks though is that this shelf, like this, is pretty much what I see all the time. I I can never see the big guys unless I bend down or shine a light. And then more DC. There's Ami. Is a 12 inch freeze I reviewed. He's just on the floor for now. And some Iron Man stuff. There is a Mr. Freeze collection. I want to make a video on all this someday, a really detailed video. I have Capullo Freeze, Gotham Freeze, 60s Freeze, a lot of freezes, Animated Freeze, you name it. 
And then that transitions into kind of some random Batman stuff, some older Batman. I have a Justice League team back there that I was sent in the P.O. box. Thank you. Then some... This is like uh, the animated stuff right there. That is Combat Bell Batman, yes. Nightwing, Grey Ghost. And then there is an animated Batman right there. And Harley. Total Heroes Batman. Then this. I have seen collections that have like a whole shelf dedicated to like the ladies. That's pretty much as skimpy as my collection gets. And that's because I wanted one Play Arts Kai... And uh, Arkham Asylum Harley was cheap enough, and also I like that outfit. And also, these figures just, they don't stand up too well, so I have them sitting down. And I figured, why not put them in, like, pin-up poses while I'm at it? So, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's, that's that. And then Batmobiles. I do collect um, Hot Wheels Batmobiles. So I have Arkham Asylum, Arkham Knight, Animated, uh, 89 Keaton, and 66. And then there's uh, another Arkham Knight one. And then, moving up, we have a complete collection of all the Mattel Movie Masters for uh, the, the Dark Knight trilogy. And um, there's the tumbler for Hot Wheels. So, Batman and good guys first. There's uh, Selina Kyle, Bruce Wayne, all of his different iterations. And there's Alfred kind of whited out. Maybe I can get him a little. There we go. Then Gordon. And then here is Bane. And then Scarecrow. And then the Jokers. And then Harvey. And then there's the Bat Signal. Raish back there. Or Roz. I think they called him Roz. In the movies. Bat Pod. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love it. And then moving up. Uh, <laughs> this might look familiar. Since I did a video like this very uh, similarly a while ago. But I've gotten new figures and more figures. Um, so I'm not going to go over it too much. Because like I said, I've I rearranged some. But it's generally the same. Besides, I got a lot new Batman. There's the normal DCUC Gotham City 5-pack Batman. I figured I just wanted him in the center for now. Because he's a very classic Batman. And then I got some more Batman variants. Uh, I got Sinestro Core Batman. Because I couldn't help myself. I got the 89-inspired Batman from DCUC because I couldn't help myself. And back there, I got the Young Justice Batman because I couldn't help myself. And then I also got the Son of Batman from Dark Knight Returns. So yeah, there was uh, some growth to the Batman collection. And then, oh man, I'm going to I'm gonna have to keep this going a little bit longer. Uh, NECA. Not all of it's NECA, but a lot of it's NECA. Uh, but right there, big old chunk of not NECA, McFarlane, Terminator, Diamond, John Wick, uh, then some Godzilla stuff. And then McFarlane, there's, a uh, Voldemort back there, but there's a NECA Snape. And then NECA Terminator, then some Kenner Terminator, Mega Constructs Terminator. Then NECA Ash, Leonidas, NECA Aliens, NECA Robocop. It's John Wick's dog, rest in peace. There's <laughs> Alien, Alien, and there's my Preds. I don't have a lot of Preds, but I haven't gotten a Pred in years, man. Last Pred I got was the Ultimate City Hunter. Last Pred I got. I might get the Ultimate Jungle Hunter at some point, because the only Jungle Hunter I have is the Battle Damaged one. There's Dutch. Brand new, just got him. Mega Constructs Black Series, that's what you're calling it? Ugh. Mega Constructs Pred. I saw that at Walmart, had to get it. And going up, Mega Man. Gotta love Mega Man. So I have all the uh, older classic Mega Man figures they did early 2000s and re-released. I have some Kid Robot Mega Man stuff. Or was it Kid Robot? I think so. Y you know what I'm talking about. Those, those blind box ones. I actually got a few of those. I got Proto Man, um, Base, and um, Mega Man X right there. Um, or was he Treble? I don't remember. I think it was base. Um, and then some Mega Man EXE stuff. And then some bigger guys. And then I do have some Mega Man Action 66. I love those. I want Wave 2 of specifically Proto Man. Or not Proto Man. I wish I made a Proto Man. A Vile and Cut Man. I want specifically. 
Then yes, I do have the Five Nights at Freddy's Wave 1, but they're actually worth a lot now, so that's kind of funny. I only got Wave 1, because um, it pretty much just covered everything I cared about. Um, yeah, they're just neat. Uh, I really just wanted to get Bonnie and Foxy, but my brother got me the two Freddies. And I'm like, uh, I just have to get Chica, and then I'd get the two I already wanted, then I'll just have a complete set. Then Minecraft! Hell yeah, got some Minecraft. Minecraft's cool, why not? Most of those are the Jazzwares ones. I don't think I have any Mattel Minecraft. Not too worried about getting them either, you know? I don't really collect that. So, that's it with this stuff. That took a while, because there's a lot. Let me brighten it. There we go. But, we have one more bookcase to cover, and then we shall be done. Okay, so this last bookcase, big Marvel stuff, Iron Man, MCU, Marvel Legends, uh, more Iron Man, Avatar, and then there's some video game stuff and other stuff on the side. Let's talk about the stuff on the side. So, Hot Wheels DeLorean up there, because why not? Uh, I love Back to the Future. That's pretty much the only Back to the Future thing I have. A uh, little Nano Figs Snipe, uh, Future War Terminator, which I did open. Like, it is opened, but it broke right out of the box, because clear plastic. So, I just put it back in the box and I hang it up. Um, young Indy, because I wanted an Indy figure carded. Some Hot Wheels cool combis. Bit of an inside joke between my brother and I. Um, but this is the legendary I'm Gonna Eat Your Brain. Hell yeah. His batteries still work. Um, <laughs> as long as they do. Uh, epic Fred Flintstone. Uh, carded It's Y'all Out the Torre de Frenze. Real Rider Chevy Nomad, one of my favorite cars. Uh, Convoy Sonic thing that I've had ever since I was a kid. <laughs> then carded Retro Iron Man. And then along the side here, just showing you, we have some Venoms. Venom, Venom, Venom. And then there's a little Venom there. Then there's Dick Grayson, Batman, which thankfully, I never opened him. And thankfully, the Build-A-Figure part is completely, I mean, you can still kind of see the crevice there, but it's pretty much covered up. And I love this style of multiverse box, and I really wanted one in the box, so that works. And this is a custom black-suited Spider-Man on a... Uh, on a little, little ledge there. I custom painted that. And then down here is Sonic the Hedgehog. I have some Toy Island stuff and Jazzware stuff. I'd love to get an Amy Rose, but knowing how expensive these things are nowadays, that's probably never gonna happen. Uh, then down here is Mortal Kombat. Sub-Zeros, uh, the Ninjas. And then uh, Goro back there. And then that's Sub-Zero. Still my favorite six-inch action figure. Well, maybe. Maybe he's been dethroned. I don't know. But then we have Assassin's Creed. Good old Assassin's Creed. NECA in the back. McFarlane up front. And then some three and a quarter inch stuff up, up front. And then some Mega Blocks up, up, up front. So I do love that stuff. I pretty much have every Itzio variant, uh, at least for the dies. I don't have all the hooded and unhooded variants, but I do pretty much have them all. And then, let's talk about the big Marvel stuff. Up there, 18-inch Spidey, love it. I've had that Venom since I was a kid, love it. Uh, Rotocast Venom, at least I'm pretty sure it's made out of Rotocast. Feels Rotocast. You know, it's that cheaper 12-inch Venom that uh, Toy Biz made back in the day. Talking Disney Store Venom, love it. Uh, upside Down, Marvel Legends, Symbiote Spidey, love it. And then some Iron Man stuff. Some smaller Iron Man things. Some little uh, superhero squad. And then Silver Spider-Man Shrine. Because I love Silver Spidey. And then right there is my NECA 1 4th Iron Man. And behind that is a talking Spidey that I've had ever since I was a kid. Can't really see him too well, but he's there. Then right there, big old Hulkbuster they made for Age of Ultron. Big old Hulkbuster. And a little Deadpool on top. I uh, got that Hulkbuster for like 10 bucks, I think. Worth it. Uh, and then here, more Iron Man stuff. Toy Box Iron Man. Some uh, Endgame Iron Man War Machine. Then some classic 90s Iron Man. Then some 12-inch, like 10-inch movie tie-in stuff. There's that awful, awful Ultron. And some Iron Man 1 big figures. And that is the uh, Icons, I think. Marvel Legends Icons Iron Man. 
I got him from a fan. Didn't get the mask, but I don't care because I love that Tony head sculpt so much. I like seeing it. There is, um, jeez, what's his name? Uh, Captain Action Iron Man. It's one of my favorites. So here's the big stuff. Big, big stuff. And then moving down, this is my MCU Iron Man. All this is MCU Iron Man. And it's a pretty, pretty complete collection. Uh, I am starting to branch out into uh, some other toy lines that have made suits that Hasbro has neglected. So let me adjust the lighting just a little bit. There is the War Machines. You can see War Machine Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3. Uh, that is the smaller um, Mark IV from Infinity War, but uh, I just need to like get a little wooden block for him to stand on, and it'll be kind of the same height. Uh, then there's the end game concept art, kind of preliminary before the movie came out, War Machine. Iron Patriot, just uh, gonna say I really love the Iron Patriot, okay? Just a little foreshadowing. Uh, then Iron Patriot from Endgame, Iron Patriot Mark II. And then Ice Cru Arctic Crusader Iron Man, then that is the Comic Cave Igor. God, I love Comic Cave stuff. Then there's a couple uh, Iron Mongers, Titanium Man back there, and Mandarin. And then up front, you can see I have Pepper Potts and Tony. Uh, and then Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, then Mark 4, Mark 5, and Mark 6. And then Mark 7 right there. And then we kind of transition, kind of just some in-between armors. So there is, uh, there's Disco right there. There's Bones, kind of my approximation of Silver Centurion. There's Hot Rod. Then Mark 42. Well, then there's also Shotgun from Comic Cave. Then 42, then 43, then 44, Hulkbuster. Then 45, Mafex. Then 46 um, from Civil War. 47 from Homecoming. Uh, 48 is the... Uh, uh, 48 is Hulkbuster Mark II, which I might get that 12-inch one that looks like crap and just have it there for now. Uh, 49 is Rescue. Then Mark 50. I will be getting that, um, the nicer Crimson Red version that came in the two-pack at some point. I actually hear soon. Like, I have it, but I don't have it, if that makes any sense. My brother has it currently. I must wait until I see him again. Battle Damage Civil War. Uh, then that is the Removable Armor. And then Battle Damaged Mark 6. And then, at the end of it all, Mark 85. At the end of it all. Hell yeah. I love it. Love, love, love it. I hope we get a Battle Damaged version with uh, the Snapping Finger and the Infinity Gauntlet. And that goes on to Cinematic Universe. Uh, but before that, there is um, the Raimi Spidey movies. Really need a new Goblin in my opinion, to complete that collection. Not too worried about a Sandman, and you'll see why in a minute. We got Doc Ock, Green Goblin. And then here's Netflix. Uh, I do not have Iron Fist, because that figure looks awful. Uh, but I do have Ant-Man, Wasp, and Yellow Jacket. Then moving on to Main Avengers. I pretty much just wanted, like, one version of each character. So, like, that's the only Black Panther I'll ever need. I'm not going to get another Black Widow. I like the Age of Ultron one enough. Stan Lee, Stan the Man right there, dead in the center. That's the two-pack, um, Homecoming Spidey. I don't have all the different costumes. I do have Iron Spider, because he's kind of an iron suit. But I, I don't know, I wasn't worried about any of the other Spider costume variants. Thor, that is another Civil War battle damaged uh, Iron Man with the Mark 43 alternate head. Works well enough. Thanos... Taskmaster just got him. Pretty much just put him on the shelf just for this video, but I'm going to take him out and mess with him more after this. And some villains. Red Skull. There's a Civil War Spidey. Then um, some more Civil War stuff in the back. Big old giant man. And then goes into some Asgardians. A good old Korg. Love Korg. And I kind of have a little bit of a Ragnarok collection. I'm kind of surprised. That kind of just happened. And then um, a little bit of a Captain Marvel area. Because I actually really like that movie. I have some uh, Star Force. And Guardians of the Galaxy. Love it, love it, love it. I did not get the Guardians 2 Gamora. I actually like the Guardians 1 Gamora enough to not get the new one. Crazy, I know. 
But then kind of up front, you can see Cap and Captain Marvel. The two Caps. And then Winter Soldier in the middle there. And then Crossbones. Can't ignore Crossbones and Ultron. There is MCU. And that is the Age of Ultron. What What is on his... Oh, that's... I'm like, what's on his shoulder? That's Yellow Jacket. I still love the Age of Ultron uh, Hulk enough to not upgrade. And then this is my random Marvel stuff. Well, not really random. Just comic stuff. My horde of Deadpools. It just kind of happened. Squirrel Pool, Dog Pool, Deadpool, Lady Deadpool. Uh, Head Pool. <laughs> pool Pool. Uh, I want the Toy Biz one, though. Believe it or not. I have three... Hasbro Deadpools, but I still want the Toy Biz one. Some X-Men, not a lot. There's Bob. Had to have Bob. And I'm kind of... I don't know. I got, like, some of the big characters from the Deadpool movies, like Cable and Colossus and Domino, um, thinking they would never make live-action versions, but they're making live-action versions. There's three of my favorite X characters right there. Wolverine, Iceman, and Cyclops. And pretty much my favorite costumes for them. Then Spidey's. Spider-Hulk. Urban Legend Spidey. Um, then back there, Diamond Select Spidey. It's kind of a missile shooting Spidey. That's a scuba Spidey. That is a very beat up uh, 2000, like an old, the old Hulk movie in the back there. Select Hulk. Um, then right here is kind of some Spideys. Symbiote, Armored. I did make the Armored. I did give him uh, silver eyes because they were just all black and it, it didn't look right. My pride and joy of my Marvel Legends collection is uh, the uh, McFarlane Spider-Man there. Gwenpool. Not Gwenpool. Oh my gosh. Spider-Gwen. I don't have a Gwenpool. Spider-Woman. Some symbiotes. As you can tell, I prefer the Toy Biz ones over the Hasbro ones. Like, I don't even have a Hasbro Carnage anymore. I got the Toy Biz Carnage. I'm like, you know what? The sculpted detail on the Toy Biz one just makes the Hasbro one complete trash. I do have Monster Venom, though. I love Monster Venom. I have Anti-Venom. I have the uh, Matt Gargan Venom there, Select Venom. And then that's why I don't need a movie Sandman, because that comic Sandman is amazing. Iron Spider, then Daredevil and Iron Fist. You can tell I have no problem mixing Toy Biz and Hasbro, because my collection's not big enough to worry about it. Some Ghost Riders, some Ultrons, some villains, random villains, random heroes, Nova. Uh, <laughs> Silver Surfer without a surfboard. The old Doctor Doom that I like enough to not even worry about the new one. Because um, that's just how I am. I don't... Like, I my Marvel Legends collection isn't big enough to stress out over having a definitive version, you know? I, I don't focus in on it enough to worry about that. So anyways, going down, we're almost done, guys. These may be my favorite action figures, 6-inch. Uh, I put these guys on the shelf just for this video. It's probably not how they're going to be uh, in the end. I'm going to take them off the shelf and keep messing with them for probably like another month or two, and then I'll put them on the shelf. Uh, but here we have the... Oh my gosh, she's kind of falling over. No! That's the Diamond Select Stealth Iron Man. Then Comic Iron Man stuff. All this is Comic Iron Man. I love that Stealth Iron Man. Old Toy Biz Hulk, Buster, First Appearance, Silver Centurion, Diamond, Hulk, Buster, uh, Ultimate, Ultimate Iron Man, and War Machine. Uh, I love I love the extremist Iron Man with that war machine, the initiative war machine. 80th Iron Man. He's supposed to be holding his helmet, but it fell down. Then uh, War Machine Punisher. Love that guy. Uh, I haven't modified the head. Oh, no, that came off. I haven't modified the head or anything to actually fit on, so it's just kind of resting there. But I did get that head from my brother. Thank you. So I can actually have Frank Castle revealing his ugly mug. Then there's Iron Skull. Then there's Doctor Doom, Iron Patriot, Iron Monger, the old War Machine, Titanium Man and Crimson Dynamo, and then moving on to three and a quarter inch. Some bad guys. The drones. I still need the Navy drone. Iron Monger. And then it pretty much just goes into the MCU suits in the front. I love that one. I love that one. Um, let's see, there's the MCU suits. And there's a <laughs> Iron Monger repaint into Hulkbuster. Then back there's the comic suits. So War Machine Golden first appearance, or Golden least Mark One. Classic Iron Man, Neo Classic, Silver Centurion, or Centurion, however you say it. Bleeding Edge, the Toy Biz one. Uh, that is the Superior. And then there's the Ultimate one back there. So that is the uh, <laughs> that is Iron Man. 
Then last, but definitely not least, Avatar. Oh no, Katara! I just realized Katara fell over. No! I'm trying to make the shelf look nice. I'm trying to make everything look nice for this video, and you have to fall over? How dare you? No, don't hug Aang. You're supposed to do that after the series is over. Come on. Oh, her, her effect fell too. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, whatever. Anyways, yeah, uh, Fire Nation. Fire Nation, guys. Zhao. All the various Zuko's. Love it. Then there's the Diamond Select uh, sides of the packages back there. I cannot wait for the future waves, man. Oh my gosh. It's Aang and Sokka and on Appa. Momo on Appa. Then right there, there's the Diamond. Aang's. Katara. Sokka. Some Aang's back there. And then some side characters, Avatar Roku. I really want the Blue Spear Dragon. Uh, and I do have the Fire Nation Rhino back there, too. He's getting ridden on. So, yeah, that's it. There we go. That's my whole collection. Boom. Fun ride. Uh, very long ride. Uh, but we did it. Covered this room. Covered my studio. Covered the hallway shelves. I do have some stuff in storage, but the thing is, the reason this is so big and overwhelming is I can say about 95, if not higher, percent of my collection is out on display. Because I like displaying my things. I don't like it being in storage. So that's why it's pretty much all out. I have two rooms to have it all out. Um, I could definitely use some more space. Uh, it's definitely a room where people walk in and they're like, wow, you have a lot of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I do, but it's my passion and I've acquired it over a long time. So it's not like, it's not like, you know, super crazy or anything. But yeah, it's a lot and I love it. I'm so grateful for it. That's one thing. I see collectors with a lot and they're just not grateful. I'm so grateful for all of this. Not a lot of people have the privilege to own this much stuff. And I do. And I love it. I am in love with my collection. I mean, I can sell this stuff if I need to. If I need to, I can sell a lot of this. But right now, it's not a problem in my life. I love it. It's a good thing in my life. And I have no plans of, uh, you know, trimming it down a lot anytime soon. Uh, but I'm definitely trying to uh, stunt some of the growth. I'm trying to limit what I buy because of my space. Like carded stuff, I'm trying to not get more carded stuff. Um, I'm trying to just cool it with a lot of things. And some things I don't even buy. People send me stuff. People give me stuff. I get stuff at the thrift store super cheap. I mean, I've passed up stuff at the thrift store because I just don't have the space or the interest that I probably should have gotten. But yeah, there we go, guys. <laughs> Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Say, thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. Let's not forget the reason I made this video. 20,000 subscribers. Uh, I love it. Thank you guys again so much. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Check out my social media links, PO Box address, and frequently asked questions down below. Let me know if you made it through the whole video. Uh, comment down below. Um, if you made it through the whole video, comment down below. Magnetic Spider-Man. I forgot to mention him. Comment Magnetic Spider-Man if you watch the whole thing. Uh, but probably comment more than that. I'd appreciate like your feedback and actual opinion. Alrighty, guys. I will see you. I'm going to go crash on my bed probably after filming all this. <sighs> Goodbye.